And this is exactly why you have all these suburban kids running around here acting like they got it out the mud, like they were struggling because you sit there and shame them for being from the suburbs. Isn't everyone's goal to get more money so that they feel like they can then stun on their haters? When someone does it, nobody likes it. People always hate when people end up being rich. I saw this one. It's about black people. Figured you'd be the expert on it. Yeah, thank you for letting me join in on the conversation. Why do y'all hate black people who grew up with money? Mm. Let me make one thing clear. I grew up in a half million dollar house. I went to private school. I graduated from one of the top universities in the country. My job, you couldn't get it if you wanted to. My car note is more than your rent, no cosign. I mean, I can go on for days, but the moral of the story is, why would I want to relate or try to fit in with a lifestyle that I do not come from? Y'all don't think it's crazy that you equate blackness with poverty? And this is exactly why you have all these suburban kids running around here acting like they got it out the mud, like they were struggling, because you sit there and shame them for being from the suburbs. Y'all keep saying Carlton, like that's some sort of insult. Like, are, are you okay? Use the three brain cells you got up in there to tell me who does it benefit for black people to only be able to fit the stereotypes in order to be considered black. This was interesting. His point that he's making, I would agree with. If you're a black person and you come from an affluent background, mm -hmm. a nice house, went to private school, you're not looked at as cool. Why are you talking white? Mm -hmm. You need to talk like a hood black person. That's what a real black person talks like. It's cool to be like a thug. I'm from the hood. hood. Isn't the goal to elevate from that? Correct. Anybody that actually lives in those conditions and environments, they would tell anybody, y'all don't want to live this. The onlookers, it's, that's the cool, cool thing bitch. to do. The comments on this one were all roasting him for saying, okay, that seems true, but it's the showboating for me, the gloating, the entitled way you were saying, my car no, yeah. and all that stuff. To his point, people People hate, let's say, cockiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, I, can, I can see through the tone, maybe. I get it. It's like, okay, the car, no. That, and his job, you couldn't get it if you, you tried. You tried. That could be facts. If I tried to get his job, I probably couldn't. I probably couldn't either. <laughs> I, might, I probably don't have the qualifications. I didn't meet the requirements. Isn't everyone's goal to get more money so that they feel like they can then stun on their haters? When someone does it, nobody <laughs> likes it. People always hate when people end up being rich. Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, they get shot on every minute of every day. You need to do this with your money and you could end world hunger, but you're not doing this and that and that. So I get it, y'all trying to save the world and all that shit. Everyone wants to be rich, but right. everyone hates rich people. Make it make sense. And then again, that kid, he didn't get to choose to grow up with half a million dollars. He just did. He's saying straight up, oh yeah, no, I don't relate to that and I don't want to because all I know is this and oh yeah, this is what I have. That's like if we get so much money to our Yumi Baudi sports car and I make Instagram clip like just bought my sixth car because I'm collecting them. You don't need all those cars. Yeah. Oh. Another cocky YouTuber. You don't know what it's like for me. I earn this. Ah, shut up. And like what? Every rich person is supposed to solve everything. And people will get mad if he tried to act like he was from a place that he wasn't. You're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't. I'm about to say people are criticizing anything at this point. Me as a part of the black community, I want to see black people win and get money. So I see him. I'm, I go hell yeah. I didn't read that as arrogant and cocky. I almost looked at that as oh shit okay. Everyone's got an opinion about something. Which is, mm -hmm. it's okay, it's okay to have opinions, but it seems like whenever you share anything, it's like you will get lit up and roasted, attacked for anything. Which is why we are gonna stop making videos and just sit and smile. Bro, dead ass. There's something wrong with all of us. We all have our own problems. Everyone's guilty of being a hypocrite. Everyone's guilty of not being nice. Everyone's guilty of being greedy. I'll come out here and I'll roast something that I think is silly and stupid, but bro, I'm gonna go back to my daily life where I'm doing some stupid shit too. Correct. We're pointing out stuff that's just just publicly out there, but doesn't mean that I'm not doing stuff that's also stupid. I'll be the first person to admit that I am the least perfect person that I know. I actually saw something else. Spotify just dropped a teaser for a mini documentary following Kendrick Lamar's trip to Ghana. People ripped this to shreds. Really? Let me play this for you. Yeah. And you tell me what you think was offensive about it. First time in Ghana. I couldn't even tell you what day it is. I've just been in the moment. Life shit, it's all about an experience. And everybody got their own different experience. What's wrong with them visiting Ghana just to see? That's cool to go see what's going on over there. What could they have possibly ripped him apart for? And we don't even know what the documentary is about yet, right? We don't know what he did there. He's having fun in Ghana. He's just like he had a good time. Some people look taking pictures with him. So can no celebrity go visit? Nope. Oh my God. There's a reason why African people will always love Drake. He doesn't do dumb shit like this. These bastards need to stay the fuck out of Africa. <laughs> it's not where you can discover yourself okay. and further Orientalism with your stupid filters and edit to make it seem like some mystical place when it's normal people everywhere else 
go do that shit at home in your own neighborhoods. If anything, there's people who don't even know what Ghana is, and he's shining a light on it. But he can't even take a trip to Ghana? Nope. When you get an ounce of money, you're banned from travel. Stay in your own country. If you don't give back to the people who don't have much money, you're also a monster. But let's say you even gave back two bucks. Only two dollars? <laughs> Beyonce did the gift, and now every celebrity is at a free will to fetishize Africa and its culture as they wish. Ain't they all black? <laughs> Can the black people stick together or something? Supposed to be so helping each other. Celebrity goes to poor third world country to feel better about himself. Filming a documentary so he can make more money. You can't document anything. If you stay home and don't give back to people, then you're greedy. And why don't you help someone out? Donate some money to Ghana. Help get out of our country. We don't want you here. It looked like the people that were featured in the thing. Love to have them there. It's really disturbing how people can turn an entire continent into a pseudo soul searching prop. Brother. And then who are the gatekeepers of Africa? Africa. Are all these people from Ghana? <laughs> I, I doubt that everyone making a whole thing about this is from Ghana. <laughs> like, maybe Did Ghana come out and make a statement? The Ghana president has not said anything. I haven't heard anything from their side. You're all suggesting that these kids are poor and this is a negative view of Africa. It's more reflective of your own views of Africa than anything else. The kids are running around having fun and he's sitting on the beach with locals. How does that suggest poverty? I'm like, bro, the doc isn't came out. How are y'all speculating this one? 15 seconds. All people need is 15 seconds and they will light you up. They will slice you and dice you like a thing. Thanksgiving ham. Why are people mad about this? He's just at the beach. <laughs> Doesn't even look like an impoverished area. The filter is to create a nostalgic feeling. You motherfuckers are looking for problems based on your own preconceived notions. It's exhausting. Yeah, it's, it's hurting my head. I just had to do that because it was hurting my head, so I needed to hurt you. Yeah, head. thanks, man. Watch them not even release a documentary now because the public is so offended. Kendrick thinking he's doing, man, that was a fun trip. Comes back, what? <laughs> The tweet that I saw, I wish I could find it. She was saying, fetishizing African culture. It's not meant for your little biopic. It's not meant oh to be the backdrop God. of your own internal story. I said, bruh. You can't even visit? <laughs> It goes to show that like Kendrick Lamar was one of the most highly respected figures of our generation. I never heard anyone say anything bad about Kendrick. And if yes. you do, it was like, how could you? He's the best in the rap game. Yep. Dude takes one trip to an African nation and is ripped to shreds. People are offended that he even went there and filmed this. What are you supposed to do? He himself is not from there necessarily. So he shouldn't even be allowed to go so there. So he's not allowed to go there, but a lot of poor African countries would benefit from wealth people probably going just for in terms of donations I would assume knowing Kendrick I'm sure he didn't just film for clips and dip even if he gave two bucks to one kid isn't that better than no one gets anything at all I guess the rule is don't do anything people have to have some thick skins nowadays even us putting this video out there we're succumb to potentially getting so many haters right now I remember looking at um, a documentary where they were visiting an African village and I thought oh wow I would love to go to a place like that one day just experience another yep. culture I guess I can't or maybe I could go but I can't document it. Who's creating all these rules? That's the same people who are the joke police. You can never say a joke like that. Why not? Because I'm a joke police and I found that offensive. Yeah, because you're popular, I'm gonna come at you. And I'm not a perfect person and I do a bunch of heinous things, but I'm gonna point this in, I'm gonna point this out on you. All right, light me up. People hate celebrities. Yeah. People love them and they hate them too. Kendrick goes to Ghana and how dare you go to Ghana and don't use Ghana as your backdrop for your stupid little emotional story. God yeah. damn. Jeez. I don't think that was necessarily the goal, but I guess they're taking it that way. Yeah, I don't think Kendrick intentionally went there because like, oh, I'm about to profit off all these poor ass people. He has a song called Humble. He came from Humble Beginnings. He said some crazy stories in his songs where I'm like, holy shit. He didn't come from the suburbs. The suburbs and now he's going to a poor place. But even then, can't you be rich and go to a place poor and then start to be like, damn, I feel more grateful for what yep, I have now. Correct. No, you can't feel grateful about that. You gotta help him out. Don't go, man. Go back to your grateful spot. <laughs> you can't win. I guess a lot of fans that would love this, a bunch of Ghanaian people that would love it, but it's crushed by the people who say, you can't do that, and I will get, keep this, and I will, and you can't do that, and this is wrong. I thought it was good to shed a light on Ghanaian culture or any other African nation. I thought that was cool. You put something out there, expect to get eaten alive. Everyone wants to get more money, and everyone wants to be famous, but when you are famous, you're bad. If you come from a very dangerous area like Compton, California, and you work your way up in the 
rap game and you go and you make it and you make everyone proud and you become a generational talent, don't you dare think about visiting another poor country and have the balls to document it. I don't see the issue here. I have a, I have a pessimistic view of like the internet. I also just think Twitter is damn near toxic as fuck. I have not been on TikTok. I'm getting off Twitter. I'm gonna go start painting. <laughs> yeah, maybe start painting or something. Maybe. Yeah, maybe paint. But this happens every day on Twitter. This is what happens when you put yourself out there. Fuck. Damn. Shit. Sorry. So I guess you can't go to Ghana. No, I'm not going. I was gonna go a trip there, but not anymore. Oh yeah, you can't. Fuck. Don't do that. <laughs>